Link 2012. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Descent Developer playing the game. <laughs> Anyways, we have 60 levels, so we're going to go get... A Cupid. Now, we have unlocked the Nostalgia Teleporter. It takes us over here. It's quite nice. Alright. Whoop. I need to up my render distance. I forgot I turned it down to 4. Let's just have it at 8 for now. Alright. Yeah, we need speed. We need speed so badly. Alright. Let's go ahead and buy the Cupid. Your Cupid has been purchased. Cupid Pokeball. Press Q or drop to use. Status stored. Hmm. He's currently active. Cool. Let's go ahead and store him. Beautiful. Now that we have the Cupid, let's go ahead and return back. and start working on getting ourselves ready for this next area. So it appears this next area, our main problem was the skeletons. We have projectile protection, which is nice. I think my old set had two pieces of really powerful projectile protection. So it might be wise to go check it out and try to use it. Right. Another important thing to note is that we do have to face against some mobs here that, oh boy, I don't have enough space for the rune sword. Uh, what was I trying to say? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, okay, we have to face against spiders and they have a uh, the, the, the main thing that hurts them is Bane of Arthropods. So it's, it's tricky. This, this area is going to be tricky because there's a lot of various things that we have to account for. Those creepers did some damage too, although they're not able to one-hit kill us, which is nice. I want an axe as well, if possible. So if I have an axe in here that I can use, I will be using it, probably. Even if it's to sacrifice some damage. Uh, if you remember right, we already have, we're already a bit low on damage in turn because uh, we got weakness in that area. The other, a possibility would be to use hope. We could use hope. Dual assisting blades, smite and bane of arthropods, seven attack damage. Ooh. This is gonna be awful against creepers, but great against what we need to go against. So I don't know. That's an old blade though. Let's see here. Hacker. Chest popper nine thousand. This one will break through everything. Okay, Carpenter's Hammer. Fire Aspect, Knockback, Smite. No Bane of Arthropods. 10 attack damage. Maybe worth it. I'm not sure. Right, we also have in here a cheese weapon. Smite, something huge, but it's not that great, really. Force field chest plate, red cap. Red cap's nice, but actually it's really good. Um, okay, let's continue to put stuff away here. Gold ore. Drop that in here. Drop this in here. Yeah, I'm not sure about the rune swords, because they're 12 attack damage. 16% attack damage. So it's a little bit more than what we currently have. 
but there's nothing special to it. We currently have a blade that does damage to absolutely everything, but I'm guessing that our armor set really isn't that great in terms of attack damage, and that might be holding us back. So I think we're actually going to try again to use this set. This set is nice. It's got protection, blast protection. It's got projectile protection 5 and 4. So it's going to be good against those skeletons who are giving us trouble. At the same time, this is going to make us very weak to spiders. Uh, the blast protection will easily protect us from the creepers. So the zombies and the spiders are going to be our main threat. Okay. What now? Spawner buster. Do I want a different type of pickaxe? Do I want to use longer lasting pickaxe, for instance? Yeah, let's go ahead and use this one instead. It's only efficiency five, but it's gonna last us a lot longer. Alright. Let's come back up here. Let's actually finish up everything with our backpack. Oh boy, we have a lot in here. Beastly potion, that's nice. I can always use another beastly potion. And we got a strength two potion. That's good. We got a very significant book that we're gonna go ahead and put it away. Boom. Oh boy, I really want these coins too. Those power. Okay, so flame, infinity, punch, flame, flame. Sword. I'm glad we had the bane of Arthur Claws. Whoops, power five doesn't go in there. But is it really gonna help us? Power. So we need to get some new weapons here. These guys are dead. They're dead to us. Uh, they're not going to do any good for us right now. So let's take a look at our, our swords here. Do we have anything that we got recently that might be of use? We have an infinite sword, but it doesn't really do much. All of these rune swords are interesting. It might be an investment, actually. Because you see these rune swords? Oh, wow, this one's 12.1. Oh, these are slightly better. Now you... Hmm. And despite the fact that this has sharp... So we can get sharpness 4 on this, right? It's worth 3 less attack damage. But... It also gives us speed. And the attack damage might work, work out. Uh, okay, so either way, this sword's going to be better than a current pack that we have. Alright, I'm going to put that away. But I am mostly interested in special weapons. Oh, we can't rename this to Hacker. This one is... I'm not sure if it works on blades or not. Carpenter's Hammer looks very appetizing, but it's got some might. The main thing we're worried about is spiders. I really hate to say it, but... That's the, tr the, the truth. The hard truth. In here, we've got some interesting weapons. The bread of anti-life, for instance. This makes us completely immobile. However, it does do a lot of damage to everything. Here we still have hope. Hmm. No. Hope's really not worth it. Oh, the Band of Arthur Putts 10 here. That's it. <laughs> okay. Kevin Cool's Fishing Rod. Okay. Band of Arthur Putts 5. 10 attack damage. Smite 4. 
this might not be an awful main hand, to be completely honest with you. It's got looting five on it, too. We're going to try this out. We're going to actually put our previous hacker weapon in here. I actually don't want an empty mortar sword. So this is here just in case. It's unbreakable, right? Yeah, good. So this is going to be really good against those spiders. It's going to be really, really weak against creepers and whatnot, though. Uh, although it does have the fire aspect to it, so that's nice. All right. Now we do want a potion launcher. However, we don't want a fire aspect bow because we do want to kill creepers without having trouble with them. Let's see if we have any special bows here that we haven't noticed, really. So some of the newer ones were just, they're just harpoon guns. Lots of lucid dreams. Do we have anything with a lot of power? Mm, it looks like lucid dream is the only thing we have. Oh, we still, oh, the com yeah, comeback spell, actually. Comeback spell wouldn't be bad. We need something that can kill creepers. That's really, really it. Um, we could try harpoon gun. I think it would be bad to have a harpoon gun at this point in time. And that is because... Uh, oh, well, does this have fire aspect? No, I don't want fire aspect. Gun. And that's because we could pull the creeper in and then take care of him that way. Oh, cyber bowing. Oh, it has flame. Great. Where is an advanced harpoon gun? Okay. Enhanced harpoon gun. Do I want enhanced or advanced is the question. I think we're going to go for enhanced. We're going to put infinity on this, even though it is not going to be 100%. And we're also going to put uh, okay, we need to put infinity, unbreaking. Don't want flame. Infinity, unbreaking. And we need to rename it to potion launcher. Alright, we can do that in one go. We just need some levels. Actually, let's go get some XP bottles as we do this. Um, so we're going to first of all combine these two. Oh, one more level. And then see how much it's going to cost us to make the bow. Nine levels, okay. Nine levels. Let's go ahead and begin getting ourselves nine levels here. You know, we have so many of these XP bottles, we really shouldn't be worrying about this. I would still like the XP thing, though. Potion launcher. Perfect. Oh, wow, that would scared me for a second, but it's just the anvils in the end. Okay, I'm going to put away these ender pearls. We don't quite need them. These pea bottles can go away. Backpack. Right there. Need a lot more glowstone. And the golden apples. Let's go ahead and grab some of those. Wow, I'm actually running out of golden apples, finally. All right, let's see how this set works out. I'm really, really curious, to be honest with you. I think it's going to be okay, but you never know. We really need speed, though. So if we get any enhanced speed potions, we're using those right away. Oh, we don't have an axe, though. That's the only issue. Oh, well, that's not the end of the world. Oh, we're actually at sort of normal speed when we're using the torches. <laughs> Using light. Okay. 
I want to see how this works with creepers, though. Like, if we can reel them in and then kill them or what. Keep control. Oh, wait, this does actually do something. Right? It makes bubbles. Yeah, it makes bubbles. Little things like that. I, I love do doing little things like that. Oh, boy. This is a pain. At least we can mine them, though. Right, blast protection. I'm gonna keep golden carrots in there for now. Yeah, let's just not worry about those books for now. If it's not a special item, we really don't need it. CTM, unbreakable CTM. I will take that for sure, though. I'm gonna take one meditation potion just in case. Is there anything up here? Nope. Yeah, this is a pretty big deal. Nope, nope, nope. Ouch. Okay, well, if I hit you... Oh, it's a one-hit kill if I hit him. One, two, three hits. Okay, that's pretty good, I'd say. The question is, how much damage do they do? Ouch, they do a lot of damage. Not as much as the skeletons, though. From the previous section. Where are you? There you are. Alright, there's spider spawners out there for sure. Oh boy! Why did I just get hit so hard? I guess that potion must have hurt me. Alright, well, we're gonna have to step back here. Thorns! <gasps> Why isn't this working? Oh, great. This isn't working. This is very strange. This was... Weeping and gnashing of teeth. Yeah. So this is... this. There's supposed to be an animation here. But it didn't happen. It sent me to the final boss fight, I think, actually, on accident. Okay, then. Well, what can we do here? Let's grab a little bit of food and try to head back over there. Get our stuff back. I hadn't considered thorns. Okay. So they have a lot of thorns. That's the issue with the creepers. That's one of the issues with the creepers. Now, so long as nothing else spawned in there, I should be okay. And I should be able to get everything back. Yeah, there's my cupid. Oh, whoops, I don't want to go that way. I'll go this way. Alright, and I think I destroyed all the spawners, which is good, so I don't have to worry about anything spawning in. If I lose this, that'll be sad, though. Uh, CTM, I want my normal set. Thank you. Very good. So it looks like we've got everything back without a problem. The issue is going to be those creepers, really, at this point in time. Uh, I hadn't considered the fact that they might have... If they have? No, I didn't think they would have thorns. Mermaid tears, good. Charisma, good. Dark aura. Demon scale. Arrows. Where's my arrows? I think some of my items might have gotten destroyed. Arrows, for instance. I don't see any of them in here. Alright. So we have four. Where's my fifth thing? Mermaid tears. Nope. Demon scale, dark aura, mermaid tears, admin diamond. Ah, medallion. Where's my battalion of courage? Okay, it looks like we did have a few casualties. We lost our medallion of courage. And... Arrows. It's no big deal. Really. We lost our blocks, too. Okay. 
Well, it's much better than everything exploding. I'm very surprised that so little did explode. Very surprised at the creepers as well. They are much, much, much more powerful than I anticipated. Yeah, sometimes the cupid accidentally hits you. It's okay. It's not often. We have unbreakable armor, so it's not a big deal. So we need a medallion of courage, some arrows. That's it. Oh, the blocks too. Uh, well, actually, we're fine with these blocks. I don't think we're going to need to do too much. Um, residency. residency. CTM set. Unbreakable, too. Some good stuff. At least we got a speed potion. <laughs> okay. I do believe I have an extra medallion. Actually, I probably have several extra medallions. I don't remember where I keep them. Right here. And arrow wise, of course, we're going to have to take a stack. It's very good to know that the creepers have a ton of thorns. They're gonna be a pain if they have so many if they have so much thorns though. How much damage I wonder you see that's something we're still trying to work out is how much damage does do we take with this set? Oh we got Yeah, it's lagging a little bit here. I'm surprised the skeleton animation thing didn't work properly. Another awful bug that could cause the destruction of the map. <laughs> if someone else is playing besides me. Or at least set this spawn point properly. Okay, 